gentlemen, I am the C-H-A-L-L, Doncaster-born, but built for theme parks, and welcome to a very special video. Now, today is the preview for tomorrow's trip to the Alton Towers Resort. It's my second visit of the season, uh, and we're here for Mardi Gras. Now, obviously, we've previewed Alton Towers before in a trip. Uh, I've not done a trip review yet. Uh, I've not done a trip review of the March one. I wanted to sort of wait until a later visit, sort of round it all up, if you know what I mean, and sort of get more than one ride out of certain attractions just to give it my full thoughts. So, um, so yeah, hopefully if the queue times are down, which, you know, I kept an eye on the queue times on today. I think the most that anything was at was like 20 minutes, like half an hour at best. So I could be in for a really, really quick day uh, tomorrow. But um, but fingers crossed, now hopefully fingers crossed uh, the queue times will stay down and, um, you know, get to try, try and do everything, try and do the new attractions this year as well. Obviously the Mardi Gras uh, celebration is going to be happening as well during the week. So I uh, can't wait to experience the difference and change during the week in, in the towers and uh, uh, if any of you are acting tomorrow in terms of park entertainment, hope to catch you guys on camera if you're watching this. But uh, please like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss YouTube video. And for now, let's get into this one. So obviously, like I said, Mardi Gras event kicking off um, tomorrow. Um, obviously, the event's been going on for what a few, good few days now. And um, and yeah, I can't wait to try this out. Obviously, the Mardi Gras event, Life and Soul, the party, you know, different you know street parades, theming items around the park, and you know, there's different crews for different areas and things like that. There's, there was a Mutiny Bay crew, there was a Katanga Canyon crew, there was an Exet crew. So there's different areas of entertainment, different roaming characters and entertainment walking around the park as well. So I think that's a really nice touch for the event as well. My first ever Mardi Gras event at a theme park. My first Mardi Gras event ever. Uh, so it'd be really nice to experience what a Mardi Gras event will feel like or what a Mardi, Mardi Gras event should feel like. Um, obviously, like I said, getting back on all the attractions, apart from Hex and Enterprise. Now, Enterprise is in bits. I don't see that coming back, as I said on the theme park call -in show recently. Uh, for Hex, that's still closed, so I don't know what the hell's happening to Hex. I don't know what's happening, but uh, hopefully someone at some point will spread some light on the information on Hex. Maybe I might get lucky and it opens tomorrow, who knows. But um, but I, I don't know. I really don't know. Um, but yeah, I think it's been really fun. Like I said, there's a loads of attractions I want to try and get done. Um, obviously, I've done all the attractions pretty much already, but uh, it's nice to just get back on them, get some additional shots, get some theming shots, and you know, with all the Mardi Gras decorations up as well. And uh, of course, any of you out there watching the video who are going to Mardi Gras tomorrow and you do see me at the park, don't forget I'm going to be wearing the Coast Chow hoodie. If it gets too warm, I'll take it off and I'll have like a top underneath or something like that. Uh, but uh, but yeah, I should have the Coast Chow hoodie with me hopefully tomorrow. So uh, if you do want to see me at the park tomorrow, if you are going, Going, then do spot for the Coast Shell logo on the hoodie. Uh, but um, but yeah, like I said, all the rising attractions there. Obviously, your favourites: Nemesis, Spinball, Thirteen, Wicker Man, Galactica, Oblivion, Smiler. You know all the major ones. Uh, but of course, like I said, Enterprise won't be going on. Hex won't probably won't be going on. Um, and obviously, in terms of other attractions, now this is a very interesting. And I wanted to do, I wanted to do this video back in March, but I wanted to wait until midway through the season to do this and try and do another visit. This is why it's good that I'm doing another visit this season, uh, and hopefully, fingers crossed, a third visit for Scarefest. Fingers crossed. Um, but no, this is the reason why I wanted to hold off on doing a separate video until now because. There's a video idea that I wanted to do, which was going around all the different sites for possible redevelopment at the park and actually, you know, filming them and doing a separate video on them. So uh, I really do hope that you guys uh, love the content that's going to come out of tomorrow's trip. We've got the vlog coming up. We're going to have a trip review uh, as well. I'm thinking of doing the trip review differently to previous trip reviews, where it's just me, where it's not just me here talking about everything I've experienced. Um, I want to sort of do it ride by ride, so each of the reviews of the ride will be part of the trip review, if you know what I mean. Um, 
but yeah, I, I, you know, like I said, I'm going to be doing a separate video, hopefully, where I'm going to be going around all the attractions for possible redevelopment in the future. Uh, so you're probably going to see Jewel there, you're probably going to see the Retro Squad sites there, you're going to see the Enterprise site on the video, uh, you're going to see CBB's land on there, because there is one particular building, I think you know what it is, uh, that I think should be redeveloped at some point, and we're going around some other attraction sites, of attractions that I think could be biting the dust at some point in the future. Um, so yeah, that's going to be a very fun video to record, uh, like I said, so uh, yeah, fingers crossed it's going to be all good tomorrow and, um, you know, cue time, stay nice and quiet for the week and uh, we can get a lot of filming done um, off the rides and also around the park as well. So, uh, yeah, big shout out to everyone who's going tomorrow. Like I say, if you do see me, uh, make sure you come and say hi. I'm very open uh, to say hi as well. I don't bite, trust me. Um, but um, but overall, yeah, really excited about this trip. And uh, like I say, it was a very last minute thing. For someone like me that lives in Doncaster, it's going to be a huge, huge track because... Like if you're not taking the car, you, you, you know, I, I don't drive, but if I'm not going, getting a lift in a car, you have to find a different method of transport. And it's very, very hard when you're living in Doncaster. So basically, my journey, I wish I had the train tickets with me to show you. Um, I'm going from Doncaster to Sheffield, um, and my first train leaves at quarter past six in the morning. Then I'm going from Sheffield to Derby, then Derby to Utoxeter, and then getting a taxi from Utoxeter to Alton Towers. So... Three three trains and a taxi, and to be fair, the price was actually good for a return. So altogether, six trains altogether from Derby to to uh, from Doncaster to Utox to back to Doncaster again, for six trains in total, forty quid, about forty quid for for a return. That's not too bad um, for six trains, even for one person, even going out that way. Um, but saying that, it was also around forty quid for about. You know, three trains there and back from Donny to Blackpool back in February. So, um, you know, 40 quid's not too bad, in my opinion. But, um, you know, it, it depends what kind of taste you have, what kind of expenses taste you have. Um, but, yeah, massive check for me tomorrow. I might do a travel vlog, don't know yet. But, um, but yeah, I'm uh, really excited about that. Also, I'm going to be doing the dungeon tomorrow as well. So uh, I bought my slot for the dungeon one o'clock in the afternoon. So if you do want to go in the dungeon, you do want to be in that same group as me, one o'clock, one p.m. That time, I'll be at the dungeon. So uh, there we go. But that's going to be it for this video. Make sure you do like, comment, subscribe. And if you are going tomorrow, I will see you at the Alton Towers Resort tomorrow. And for now, I'm the C H A L L. Please like, comment, subscribe. Have a Alton tastic day. Thank you.